Okay, so for this vid, we're going to be finding a rapid hit through Cheat Engine. So, how we are going to do that is uh, we're going to search for the left click value change. Um, it's going to be a dynamic address, not static. So, it'll be, you know, the black address that I was talking about in the previous video, uh, in the reach video. Um, so, when you, uh, with left clicking, there is. It's a boolean, which means it's either true or false. When, but in the game memory, it's going to be zero or one, indicating true or false. Um, so if you are holding left click, uh, the value is going to be one, and if you are not holding left click, the value will be zero. So uh, let's go ahead and attach to the Minecraft process. Uh, click open. No. Okay, so it's going to be a byte value. And we are going to be searching through all, not just Minecraft module, uh, from 0 to 0, 07 and F. <laughs> uh, same thing though, we're going to make this gray check. Go ahead and do that. Um, so we're going to want to search for 1. We're going to hold left click and search for 1. Uh, how you do that while you're in game is by setting hotkeys. So go to settings, hotkeys. Um, these are just my personal preferences. You can set them to whatever you want. Uh, new scan exact value, left arrow key. Uh, we're not going to be using this one. Increased value, next scan, up arrow. Decreased value, next scan, down arrow. Next scan, changed value, page up. Next scan, unchanged value, page down. Let's click OK. Uh, so, let's see here. So, we're going to search for that one. And as the first scan. So we're gonna go ahead and hold click and I'm gonna press my hotkey, left arrow key. It's gonna scan, find like millions of addresses. Don't freak out. As you can see, there's 25 million that I found. So um, while we're in game, we're gonna let go of left click and scan for zero or a decreased value from one, which is, you know, either gonna be negative or zero. So we're going to go ahead and let go of left click, and I'm going to press my hotkey to scan for a decreased value. Now we're at 1.2 million addresses, um, and as you can see, it's scanned for a decreased value. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in the game, hold left click again, search for an increased value, because it'll be 1 now, now that I'm holding it. Alright, and then I'm just going to wall, or no, I'm going to let go of it, and then I'm going to scan for a decreased value again. And then see there's some that are just jittery, going crazy. To kind of weed through those, I'm going to search for an unchanged value and do some random shit other than left clicking. So um, let's go ahead and hold my page down key, which is going to be scanning for an unchanged value. It's still going to be zero because I'm not holding left click. We're down to 35,000, 30,000 addresses, 29. Just kind of do some random shit. Open inventory, close it, open that, escape menu, open chat, close it, stop for a second, hold it again, down to 17,000 addresses, 16, okay, now we're at 15k, so let's go ahead and uh, let's hold left click now. As you can see, there's already some that are changing right there when we hold left click. So we're going to search for an increased value now from zero. Huh. We know it's not any of those ones that just changed when I'm not even holding anything. But yeah, let's go ahead and search for that now. So let's hold left click and then search for an increased value by pressing my hotkey, which is up arrow key. Now we're down to 3,500 addresses. So um, I'm still holding left click, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, press unchanged value. And then I'm going to let go of it and I'm going to search for a decreased value. All right, and let's go ahead and hold left click, search for an increased value, decreased value, increased value, let go, decreased value. There's only six addresses left now, so let's see here. So we know it's not this one because we're not even holding left click and it just changed to zero or one. So let's go ahead and right click that or just press delete or control delete, remove selected. We're down to five addresses. So let's go ahead and click. Okay, we see three that changed to one while we're holding left click and zero. So we know it's going to be one of those three. Let's go ahead and throw those into our uh, table. We can just get rid of those. 
Wait, no, it's not those ones. Um, so as you can see, there's that green address. That one is a static address. It's in the Minecraft Windows EXE module. Um, I can tell you, because I've already done this before, that it's not going to be that one. That one is just simply for checking whether there's a left click. Um, but it's going to be one of these two dynamic ones um, that actually call the hit code when you are holding left click or pressing left click. So um, now you can check that by freezing the value at zero. And how you do that, you can either toggle it like that or just highlight it and press spacebar. Now when we go in game, if we hold down left click, if it worked, then it should start rapidly swinging. See, so it's not that one. Hold left click, not doing shit, so we know it's not that one. Um, so we can go ahead and get rid of that static one. We know it's one of these two. So if we hold, let's do spacebar, toggle the freeze value at zero, and hold it. We know it's not that one. So now let's try it on this one. Toggle the spacebar, and bam. We've got crazy rapid swinging. Shit tons of clicks per second. It's nuts. Okay, so we can go ahead and get rid of that one. We know it's this one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, toggleable um, cheat engine script out of this. So what we're going to do is if you toggle to freeze this, but you go in game and you click, you can see over there to the right, here let me make sure it's not highlighted so you can see that, you can see that there's a value that's constantly, or there's an instruction that's constantly trying to edit that and change it back to zero. Um, so we are going to find what address is actually writing to that value right there. Um, so we're going to right click it, find out what accesses it. If you click find out what accesses, it'll show you everything that accesses it, including the ones that write to it. So I, most of the time I just do that by rule of thumb. Um, sometimes I specifically look for what's writing to it, but we're going to go ahead and do what accesses. So click that. It'll ask if you want to attach the debugger to uh, the current prog progress, the process, <laughs> can't talk. Click yes, it'll bring up this, and it's just blank right now. Don't click stop, but uh, when you click, addresses pop up, see that? See, so there's one for, there's two addresses that write to it for click down, and then when you release the click, those two also write to it for the click up. Uh, up. Um, sorry, did I do what writes to it or what accesses it? Okay, yeah, I did what accesses it. Accesses it. I cannot talk. Okay, so let's see here. So this one is a compare byte pointer RDI plus 50 to zero. So we're going to click show disassembler on that one. So this is on click down. That's what we want it on. We want it to call that code when it's on click down. Um, not click up, we don't care about click up. So these two are just, fuck those two. So those two, it's gonna be one of those two. Um, you can click stop now if you want to, it doesn't matter. Uh, so when you click show disassembler, it'll bring it up in the disassembler region, memory window. Um, and we're going to mess with this. We know that there, it's comparing some value to zero and then jumping if it's not equal to another address. So it's checking, this This is a compare, so it's checking if something is equal to zero or not. So, you know, what's our value? Zero or one, true or false. So we know that that looks pretty promising. So, what did I just do with that window? Where'd it go? There it is. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mess with that one. We're gonna change it from zero, zero to zero, one. Let's click okay on that. And now that that's changed, let's go ahead and test it while we're in the game. So that does not work. So we know it's not that one. So let's go ahead and change that back to zero because when we left click now, it doesn't do anything at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit that again, change that back to zero, make sure it's fixed. Yeah, we can swing again. So, let's try changing this next instruction down after the check. It says jump if not equal. So we're going to go, eh, go ahead and change that. 
from a jump if not equal to jump if whoopsie daisies oh jump if equal so let's click okay let's try that let's go in here still doesn't do shit <laughs> all right what did we do wrong um let's try one of the other addresses where did that other window go there it is Oh, that's right. Okay. So as you can see, this one has seven. This one has seven seven hundred and seventy one counts, which means it's being accessed like a lot more than these ones. These are just these two are left click down. These two are left click up. We want this one actually. And see, so it's being accessed when the inventory is not open or any window. See, it stops counting whenever we have a. Uh, window open. So that means that code is searching that we know that's the hit code because it's searching for you know when you can actually hit, when you can actually swing. These are just checking left click up or down or yeah, down or up. But that one is actually searching for when it'll actually call the hit code. So, let's click show disassembler on that one. It's similar. See compare some value to 0. So it's checking if this is zero. So, where did that go? I keep throwing it in the wrong place. Okay, so let's go ahead and try changing that one. Zero, one. Now when you check it, we've got mad rapid hit. And see, since we're not, it's even faster now this way, Since, because since we're not just changing the value and having another value, God, why do I keep doing that I need to keep it right there okay so since it's since this is no longer writing zero to it or comparing and then calling the code that's gonna write it back to one zero <laughs> uh, this is now just writing it to one for as long as it's being held down because it's checking for the held down button and then calling the hit code while it's held down um, so now that we have tested that and can see that it works. Let's go ahead and change that back to zero. Uh, we're gonna click, while we have that address selected, we're gonna click tools, selected and at the top of the uh, disassembler region here. We're gonna click tools, uh, auto assembly. It's a little script, script, cheat engine scripting thing. Let's click template. AOB injection, which is array of byte injection. It's going to search for the array of bytes, the 87B5500, blah, blah, blah. Those are the bytes right there. It's You can make an array of bytes out of those. So we're going to go ahead and uh, click template, AOB injection. On what address do you want to jump? Right there. That's our address. So just go ahead and leave that as it is. Click OK. You can name it. You, you can name the symbol, whatever you want. We're just going to go ahead and say rapid hit. And then it'll set up this shit real quick. You can say it's for 116.210. And Rixf. And this script does blah blah blah. Makes you hit rapidly. Paskies. And then, I don't know, I just, I don't like the spacing, so I'm just gonna get rid of that shit. You don't need the code label. Get rid of that. Okay, so, sorry, the phone alarm is going off. Shut the fuck up. Okay, so um, this is gonna look kind of chaotic if you don't know much about Cheat Engine. Um, so I, I really don't feel like explaining this because I'm already 14 minutes into the video. So I'm just gonna kind of show you what to do to change it. Um, so as we tested right there, we changed it from zero zero to zero one. We're gonna go ahead and do the same right there. That's gonna jump to our allocated memory and it's going to read this code instead of that one and then jump back to the original function uh, and that's pretty much all we have to do is change that from zero, uh, zero, 00 to zero, 01 so let's go ahead and click file assign to current cheat table you can just click X out of that now and now we have a thing that says script here you can go ahead and name that rapid hit and then if you double click that you can always edit it whenever you want uh, but now, when we click toggle on this, uh, it should work the same. 
Yep. Goes crazy. Toggle it off. Paskies. And that is Rapid Hit. And this is for 116.210. Um, since it's an AOB scan, um, an array of byte injection, it's it's not going to actually use the address, so you don't need to constantly, you don't need a pointer chain for this one. You just need the array of bytes, and it'll automatically scan for the 80, 70, 50, 00, 74, 73. So that is a little unique signature, that array of bytes right there. There's probably no other ones like that, so we can double check that to show you if you want. Click Control C. Let's go, new scan, search for array of byte, paste that first scan as you can see it only finds one single address so that is a very unique signature for 116.210 for this uh, address so that's how that works that's rapid hit